YouTube. I am Penstar, and this is City Skyline Strategy and Tactics, episode 83. So in our last episode, we uh, started uh, taking a dent into our uh, commercial services zones. Uh, we also knocked down our demand for, our growing demand for industrial zones. Um, and I just realized I, uh, I had a tremendous derp here. Um, we have this train station. It's lovely uh, where it's located. There's no trains going to it. Pinstar, you fool! You didn't. Uh, you didn't send trains going to it. What good is a train station without the freaking trains? So let's correct that immediately, because that's rather embarrassing. Go through all this trouble. Alright, so yeah, this has a train line. Now you guys go, yeah, you just connect over to here. So I'm, uh, I'm okay extending this line out um, a little bit further. Actually, what I'll do here, here's what I'm going to do. Transport going here. Trains. Where's that line? Did I delete it by accident already? I must have. All right then. Well then. Huh. No, no, it's still here. Sort of, maybe, kind of, ish. What happened? What have I done? I don't want to. I don't want to make more lines than are strictly speaking necessary. I right, hear, Mr. Train. To whom do you belong? To whom do you belong? Train line 12. Alright, so I didn't actually delete the line. Um, let's give you a different color. Make you green. That's more like it. Boy, I wish I would have known what happened to uh, to our line here. All right, well, we're going to have to nix you. Sorry. We'll nix you and start a fresh one, just to make sure I'm doing it right. So, a line here, a line here, line here, back to here, and all the way back to here. That looks about right. And then we'll give you guys your color back. Beautiful. Be the lime line. Okay, that should help things out a little bit. Uh, kind of outfox myself with the... Oh, look at all those death symbols over there. I'm going to have to do something about that. Hear me, baby, hold together. I know my computer doesn't like me going slanted like that. Yep, here comes the passengers. There's a fair number of them traveling down there, so this at least this leg of the line gets uh, fairly heavily used. Uh, it's just a matter of extending that service over to here. Which I could probably see happening, especially if we have a lot of residentials wanting to come on up and see the new sites, which is uh, pretty good here. Speaking of, I'm keeping my eye on that residential meter, because eventually this will be the dominant thing. Uh, but for the moment, it is not. It is not. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not. In fact, let's uh, now that we've walked this uh, all this over to where we want it to be, we can go ahead and zone up the rest of this stuff. Uh, just so you guys get all your commercial zones out of your system. Get all nice and happy and what have you. Yeah, we already zoned the stuff that for industrial that we want to be industrial, so we don't need to be gentle with our zoning tool. Speaking of industrial... Um... 
there's like a little tiny patch of resources here, isn't there? Yeah, but it's not really... It's not really strong enough to warrant the time and effort to make a farm zone. Uh, if it was just a smidge of meter to the south over here, yeah, I'd make a little farming district, but no, it's not worth it. And I, this is, this is, this is strictly, um, <laughs> this is strictly going to be, uh, uh, residential land. So we are not going to necessarily tap into these, uh, these ore plots over here. And I guess I could temporarily make them uh, a whole bunch of ore extracting industries and then convert it over to uh, residential land when the, when the plots go dry. I guess so. That's a possibility, actually. Not a bad idea, actually. Might, uh, might be worth a little extra boost in tax area. Um, and yeah, we'll do it before the... All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's uh, engineer a temporary raping of the land here before uh, making it habitable. I'm sure, I'm sure the real estate developers will just love that. You know, get this uh, three-bedroom condo on the side of an old quarry mine that is prone to collapse. Enjoy! Yeah, right about there. Brum, bum, 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 bum. The drumbeat of progress, my friends. The drumbeat of progress. Uh, it's going to create some odd traffic, which is why I want to do it now rather than later. Because later on, when these commercial zones get fully developed, sending a whole bunch of ore trucks through them, not going to make people happy. Um, so, yeah. Probably going to want to... This is pretty much my only real window of opportunity to do this. Uh, properly, anyway. You go that away, and you go down that way, and you go up that way. Beautiful. Okay, um, let's let's get a temporary zone going here. This will eventually reabsorb into uh, Cimarara. Hmm. Or... Yeah, why don't we have Ouroboros absorb uh, its would-be industrial areas down here? Like so. And oh, what the hey? You know what? Let's since it's all officey anyway, might as well have it absorb the uh, office uh, district over here. Then that leaves us to have Cimarara, and we can actually just tell it, hey, Cimarara, let's make you uh, ore, ore industry, um, because the only industry that I'm going to be putting here is just going to be the temporary ones that's going to be extracting from those plots. Um, and when that goes away, then I will just take them off of industry and go from there. So, huzzah. Um, so, let me, uh, alright, yeah, you guys are over like that. We're going to need a little, uh, suburban, suburban streets over here. And yes, I will make them tree-lined, uh, in preparation for, uh, um, for residential occupation, but, uh, just, uh, We'll let them get all stinky for now. Yeah, have you loop over down like that. Let's take another closer look. Uh, you guys need a little bit more encouragement. So... Have you come up here? Have you loop around here? Sh 
sure. Why not loop out into the sea a little bit? That works. All right, so we've got our uh, we've got our residential area and eventual other stuff uh, developed over here, but uh, yeah, uh, not the way we would normally intend it. Okay, now we only want to throw down the stuff. Uh, oh heck, there's a little stuff over here. We could we could put a little strip down here before we turn this area into commercial zones. Uh, let's do it. So yeah, here, 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 and here. And here and here. This this is going to do some fun things with traffic. I, <coughs> I almost want to do this as sort of a pre-stress test to my uh, to my area here to see how it's going to handle the traffic because this is just going to make a freaking mess. This is just going to make a mess, an absolute mess. Yeah, we want to confine you to up here so you don't stinkify our uh, guys down here and pretty much this whole loop over here we want to uh, industrialize like so now, as far as mass transit goes um, hmm This is a temporary outposty type thing, so you know what? Let's go for some busing. Because uh, I'm not going to extend out the train station just yet. Um, I guess I, I could. I could extend out the train station. No, no, I don't have the money for it, so we're going to bus. We're going to bus. And I know there's a little trick to getting you on the other side of this. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Go on the proper side of the road. Um, or don't. I guess I could do it on, um, on over here. Yeah, why not? Because really, what's how, how far do they have to walk to... Uh, yeah. There. That's not bad. Then we'll have a stop up here. And we'll have a stop over here. I'm going to bridge this gap here with these roads. Make you straight. Drag line that stop. We're going to have to stop here. Wait, what? Ugh, game. Alright, stop's going away. Alright, stop there. Then a stop up here. Then a stop over here. Then I'd say, yeah, stop over here. And then bring you back home. You're gonna be doing some nonsense. No, actually, it's not too bad of a loop. So I'll let you. I'll I'll let it slide. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna need lots of utilities. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> um, I almost no. I'm not gonna put a cargo harbor because again, this is all just temporary. All right, let's let's just let's just water up the whole area since we're gonna need it watered anyway uh, for when the residents move in. But for the time being, we can just uh, extract the good stuff. I missed a spot, didn't I? I did. That is annoying. We can leave that one down there. There's no resources for us to tap into. Now power. Um. Power, I think, is going to grow from the middle here, because this is going to sort of bleed into those two areas, and then we can, yeah, hook you up over here. So that is how we're going to get power to the area. And actually, this should walk power over to uh, to uh, our little uh, stray metro station here. All right, so yeah, we've got a uh, metric F. To 
F ton of industrial zones ready to uh, extract um, extract ore at a moment's notice. I am really, really, really curious, morbidly so, to see what this does with the truck traffic. I mean, seriously, this could this could get very messy. But I'm 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 grimly curious. I want to know. I want to see it get messy. Uh, I want to see if my roads can handle it and or recover from it. All right, you're starting to walk over there. That's good. Get you going well, as fast as you can. I say as fast as you can. We're on triple speed, and you can see how fast, quote-unquote, uh, the game is processing. Just because of how gigantic Ficklewood is becoming. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, is telling you what kind of a behemoth we are dealing with. Uh, and as we go um, further and further in here and get more and more developed, um, you're going to start seeing more and more of me having time pass in between uh, episodes, mainly so we can let the simulation cook and start, uh, you know, just you know, letting zones develop, letting stuff grow, letting demand catch up and realign itself and just overall, um, per, you know, just churn for a little bit so that we can get to the next logical building point. I won't cut out any mess of building projects or anything interesting or me solving any kind of traffic issues but uh, yeah if we're just sitting here waiting for stuff to cook uh, I will put that in between episodes here uh, most likely in between this episode here um, because uh, that is precisely what we are doing right now we are waiting for things to cook uh, so while we wait for that stuff to cook, let's see how we're doing down here. Yeah, we're starting to see, we're starting to get some of the telltale signs of, uh, of labor shortage here. Uh, now residents are going to be a little bit pickier about where they go to. Um, and to combat that, I might develop this plot down here to be uh, residential, just so I can get the people flowing, since it's going to be far, far enough south compared to uh, to what will be this area um, uh, that uh, they won't uh, the pollution won't uh, drive them out of town the other nice thing is we don't have to provide services to this area just yet because uh, um, resource ex uh, extraction buildings uh, only have one level so they don't they don't really care will somebody grow over here? Or am I going to have to do this the ugly way? Fine. There. Whining. You whiners. I have a feeling the truck traffic coming to and from our station over here is going to be kind of, uh, kind of wonky. Kind of wonky. Uh, out, yeah, truck traffic to and from Outbreak is probably going to be kind of fun, too. <laughs> All right, so, um, you know what, let's start priming this area for resident, because we're, we're starting to get residential thing here. We're starting to get not enough worker jobs out here. Let's, uh, let us, let us give, give them some workers that they need so that our, the rest of our area can start growing and, well, keep growing. Uh, so, uh, let's see, let's prime the pathways. And I will actually end up giving, getting myself that uh, train station, since uh, now we are definitely going to want the workers uh, using it, uh, in case they need to get to other parts of our city. I do hope they remain local, mind you, because uh, I kind of want them working in the local industries and or co commercial zones, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. Train station. Oh, I guess we're going to have to be on this side then. Fair enough. Mr. Height Too High. Normally I wouldn't want to put you facing the res... Well, actually, eventually these are all going to be facing the residents, so neither here nor there. Let's see if we uh, can connect up our track. It's already off. That is so weird. It's like... Not too high, but it's too high, but it's kind of not high enough, but it's... It has to do with this height, doesn't it? Yeah, there it goes. Uh, 
Uh, you're gonna make me work for this, aren't you? Ooh. All right, you know what? Screw you and your freaking bridges. We're we're tunneling. Enough enough with you bri over road bridges. I don't care if you look pretty. We're freaking tunneling. Not enough money. All right, we don't have enough money to tunnel. We'll tunnel. Uh, we'll tunnel in the next episode. <laughs> uh, so actually, I think I'm gonna cut it here a little bit early so I can uh, get things to a churn state. Um, we'll uh, build up a little bit more money uh, so that we can afford to complete our area here as well as uh, afford all the service buildings for this residential zone that we're going to be building. Uh, let, uh, let our uh, zones, uh, our commercial and our industrial zones uh, continue to develop um, and uh, see if we can't suck this area dry before we all convert it over to uh, residential zones. So if you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment. Uh, you know the deal, people. So if um, uh, so, until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!